friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Megan, and today I have a double unboxing for you. So I have my June Lit Joy and Fairy Loot boxes, and this June box I have been dying for. I'm so excited, it's probably one of my favorite themes that I've ever seen in a book box, and that is Mythical Gods. Um, so... Honestly, I've been dying to get to this box, so I'm done talking and we're just gonna go right on in. So here is the spoiler card. Again, the theme is Mythical Gods. So the first thing I'm pulling out is in a box. Oh, I think it's the Percy Jackson teacup. This is so adorable. Okay, so I think we have Percy there. And then as you turn, it's like the waves because he's Poseidon's kid and that's so cute. I can't wait to see the saucer. Okay, so here is the saucer, I believe. And the saucer is just as cute, so you just go, ah! <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to put this in Instagram photos. And this teacup is brought to you by Nara Feather. Next thing is this notebook, I believe. It says, the ancient book of ho horse, <laughs> Norse mythology, uh, legend of the Valkyrie. So let's open this up and see what it is. I think it's just a notebook though. All right, so here is the notebook. It's got like a silver foiled design on it. And there's the Valkyrie and then yeah, it's just a nice lined notebook. Oh, and a very beautiful artwork on the inside. And this was also brought to you by Nair Feather. Next thing I'm pulling out is this tiny little, okay, that's definitely Circe inspired, um, but it's a washi tape, I believe, and it's just a Circe washi tape. And the washi tape was just a Lit Joy exclusive. Next thing is, A Hercules Muses cutting board. I love this. It's the Muses from Hercules, like the Disney Hercules. And this will definitely be displayed in my future home. And this is brought to you by Maggie Rose Studio. Next, we have a little chapstick that says Goddess of Dreams. And it's got a citrus flavor scent. I never know what to say for chapstick because you put it on your mouth so it could taste, but it also smells, so. And it's got the Strange the Dreamer kind of butterfly design on there. So I'm thinking that Goddess of Dreams with the moths and butterflies or whatever they are is a Strange the Dreamer. Yes, it was Strange the Dreamer and a Lit Joy exclusive. And then the next thing is, oh. That's cool. So I did um, receive this little kind of advertisement, I guess you could say, for their new romantic collection. I was one of the first hundred, so I will be getting the full collection numbered, signed, exclusive covers, the exclusive artwork, and the pin. So I'm super excited about that. And look how beautiful that artwork is. And it's like shimmery. <laughs> it's like shining you know when you reflect the light with your like phone or watch or something with the sunlight you might like blind someone it's like doing that light thing around my room right now <laughs> this is the uh art card for the book i don't know what the book is but this art card is stunning and the author's note is on the back but i'm trying to avoid reading that in case it gives away what the book is but uh, their artwork lately, like their art cards and dust jackets, like Fairy Loot and Lit Joy have been killing the dust jacket artwork game with finding these artists. And this was done by Christy Carter Art. Next are the little trading cards. And so we got Finnick and Gail. Um, I already knew we were getting these, but Finnick is the best character ever. Oh, I love their artwork and I can't wait to put these in my little 
character art card trading card binder that I have going on. And as always, these were done by Nero Sky. Lastly, in here we have the book of the month. And it is Sisters of Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross. Oh, I thought we matched for a second, but I forgot I had owls, not like scrolls. But I guess like that kind of matches. So in this story, we are following Ava, who is waiting her sister's return. Her and her sister have been separated because her sister joined the army. However, when her sister returns a day early and is very quiet and somber and like exhausted, she knows something is wrong. It turns out her sister was charged with some sort of treason or crime in the war and now has to serve 15 years five years in the quarry, five years doing enslavement, five years working for the house she's wronged. So Ava volunteers to take five of those years for her and work at the house that she has wronged and soon learns that there is punishments worse than death. So that sounds super intense. And considering that this was in a mythical gods box, I'm interested to learn more about the mythology and the gods of this world. And Litjoy usually does some sort of exclusive and because the dust cover is the same and there's no sprayed edges I'm going to assume it's the under the cover dust art but before we get there let's just see yes it is signed and there's that art card so here is the under the cover dust art that looks so cool and the last things in this box were not actually part of the box itself they're just kind of little add-ons I got along the way I got the wizard of Hawk the Wizard Apothecary, Doxy Dust, um, the scent is Spicy Venom, Bold Musk, and Earthy Wood and Amber. Interesting. Ooh, I like that a lot. And then down in here, it's just a like shimmery glitter, which is really pretty. I think this is a beautiful design and will be going on my shelf. I also got the literary location pin of the month and this is by Brio and Brandish and it's Pimberly. I also got this uh, replacement for my Lord of the Rings dish saucer because it came cracked in the old box so I got the replacement. I was also supposed to get another set of trading cards and this is the second time they forgot them in a box so that's fun. <laughs> But wow, I really love that box. I really loved the cutting board and the trading cards. I'm gonna use the chapstick. I'm gonna display the teacup. I think the only thing that I probably won't use or keep is the notebook, but that's just because I already have so many notebooks. But it was a fantastic box. So now on to the fairy loot box. And I don't even remember what this month's theme was, so this should be fun to go into. So the theme is a different kind of magic. That is correct. This is the one with two books. So I'm super excited. The first thing I'm pulling out is an elemental coaster set. So these look so cool. We've got the uh, avatar, the last airbender symbols for coasters. So we've got water, earth, fire, air, Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony until one day, the Fire Nation attacked! <laughs> I really love Avatar. And these were designed by Navaran Tail. Next thing is in this pouch, and it is. Ooh, it's a Starless Sea Iron On patch. I'm not much of a patch person, but for someone who is, that is a beautiful design. Um, done by Dust and Pages. Then we have the bookmark of the month that kind of fell out, I guess. The packing of this month was kind of not that great, to be honest. And they taped this shut and it's on like really flimsy paper and everything's a little bit damaged on the edges. All right, next thing is, okay, it says, love is an excellent motivator to kill. And this is inspired by The Shadows Between Us, um, done by Jez Hawk. And this is a book I really, really want to get to, so I love this pen. 
Then there's a little card in here that says the tarot cards were running a bit late, so I will receive them in the July box, which is good to know. Next is an Alice in Wonderland loose leaf tea infuser. I'm not a tea person, but I'm interested in what this looks like. So it's just this little silver pot with um, that looks like a teapot. So here's the handle. And then this side says, drink me. So I'm guessing that dangles like over the edge of the cup. So that's super cute. I won't use it, but it is a really cute little item. Next, we got socks by The Bone Season. So those are super cute. I probably won't wear them though, so. And then we got this exclusive edition paperback sprayed edges of the gilded ones and the fun thing about this is it doesn't come out for another year almost so it doesn't come out till spring of next year so that's super exciting it says for fans of children of blood and bone and black panther and are we girls or are we demons are we going to die or are we going to survive and this is by namina forna and then this is artwork it's apparently inspired by blood air and done by ours 28 Last but not least, we got Forest of Souls by Lori M. Lee. In this, we are following Sersha, whose friend is suddenly killed. However, Sersha unknowingly brings him back to life somehow um, and is then kind of recruited by the Spider King to fend off the Forest of Souls. So that sounds super intense. And again, Fairy Loot usually does exclusive editions. There's nothing new about the cover there's no sprayed edges so it is signed and then there is an under the cover dust art and this is what it looks like Ooh, that looks so cool it almost looks like they each have a different season element I know that's not what this is but it looks like that oh and then there's a spider on the cover so that was all for those two boxes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorite items down below and which book sounds more intriguing. And I will check in with you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye friends.